There's no excuse. No excuse for anyone being unvaccinated. It's become an all too common refrain at this point, almost a daily plea. Today, it's from President Biden, calling out the 35 million Americans who remain unvaccinated, warning them they have reason to be alarmed as half a million Americans are testing positive per day in this latest surge. To stem the tide, the president says he's adding another tool, doubling the U.S. order for the Pfizer COVID antiviral pill from 10 million to 20 million. These pills are going to dramatically decrease, decrease hospitalizations and deaths from COVID-19. They're a game changer. But it takes time to produce the pills, and much of the supply won't be available till after this current surge is expected to end. And a new rule forcing private insurance companies to reimburse people for rapid tests. While the FDA has acknowledged the antigen tests have reduced sensitivity to Omicron, experts agree they still serve a purpose. They detect them well enough, and that's an important point to make here. The worst thing we can do is reduce confidence that rapid antigen testing is effective in detecting, number one, that you're infected, and number two, that you could still possibly spread the virus. Earlier in the day, the CDC revised its isolation guidelines yet again. The federal agency has been under growing criticism since last week when they shortened isolation for infected asymptomatic people from 10 days down to five without requiring a negative test to leave isolation. In the new guidance, the CDC still stops short of a testing requirement, but does now say if an infected person has access to a test and wants to test, they may do so after five days. Days. If you test positive again, you should continue to isolate until day 10. If you're negative, you can end isolation but continue to mask up until day 10. And while the CDC has come under scrutiny for what many say is uh, confusing guidance, the CDC defends their no testing requirement, reminding people that a negative test is not in all clear and you can still be contagious. In the newsroom, I'm Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.